Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh, just so we're clear, <laughs> I did, really didn't skip anything last time. This is what happens when you resume the game. Previously on Ghost 1.0. Houston, I found the greenhouse. If we collect enough samples, we can find out their purpose. Ghost, we need plant samples. Destroy those harvesters and pick up their loot. Ghost, this is Boogan. Take extreme caution. If your robot is destroyed, we'll have to collect the samples all over again. And now the outcome. Neat. So yeah, I gotta play it a bit conservatively for a while. Uh, the trick being that I can have as many robot respawns as I want, but <laughs> that will physically take the plant samples with them. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to give a shout-out to Vencer's Prodigy, who uh, left a comment regarding these skills over here. You know, the ones that suck. Uh, he confirmed that those pretty much do just make the game harder, but if you get all of the uh, skills like this, you unlock an achievement called Masochist. And that uh, some of them, if you have the proper skill or, you know, upgrades, will make uh, it easier to farm energy, so that's neat. hoo -ah! Well, that's exactly the wrong time for the stick to interpret my, uh, angle of... <laughs> angle of press? What the fuck am I saying? It was a very bad time for the stick to interpret that I wanted to duck because I was just gonna make a action roll, a jump, just there for no real reason. What? All I did was shoot the box. Hmm. ahead and save. Because <laughs> that's actually a really useful thing. I could get a uh, an ammo uh, upgrade every single time. Oh, shit. That might drop the samples I already have. For the same reason that respawning will. I just wanted to check a comment. Uh, it was also Vencer's Prodigy who left a thing explaining that uh, all kinds of goddamn things can trigger the souls appearing. From destroying fake walls to using an elevator three times really quickly, or uh, you know, progressing the story even. Uh, one of them apparently involves the pause menu. I can't remember if I explained all this last time, but I don't think so, so I'll just pass that along. No idea how I'm supposed to figure out which one applies to which room, given that there's a lot of them, and they're not exactly giving hints. I'd also like to... I'd also like to give a shout-out to F. Drake, who jogged my memory and informed me that it was, uh... Castlevania Symphony of the Night that had the 3D animation of the uh, coffin appearing around you, because in that Castlevania game, you played as Alucard, who is a vampire, so... Which are there a lot less uh, ominous uh, in terms of uh, symbolism than if your character was human. That was weird, everything just blinked black for a second. Alright, what's the trick here? This is way too obvious. It's gonna unlock something else instead. I'm in the store. And there's no option. No, no. It won't let me do that. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances. Sup? 
supply droid thing. What the fuck is that guy doing in here? Oh. I've never been here before. Oh. A second drone. A force field. Interesting. Reflects an enemy projectile. Your hull shoots a small shot backwards. That just seems dangerous. As opposed to what? Recharge items. Maybe it just means those ones to give me more ammo, because that would be useful. Uh, I'm doing all right there. Hmm. Do I save up for that force field or the regeneration? Yes, yes I do. That guy's deal. Nope. Oh, damn it. Ah. Ah, lasers! Now this is happening. No! Let's go, uh, invest in some health, since I'm doing poorly right now. Oh shit, he just murdered that guy. Ugh. I don't actually it would just be much smarter if I just go do the thing. Excuse me. up. Hmm. You know, I had that problem when I played Symphony of the Night. I played it for the first time on, uh, the 360. First download-only game I ever played. Actually.
I didn't get Xbox Live just to play that game, but it was the first thing I did when I uh, ended up getting talked into it by a friend. I assume he has to just be shooting at me, but... I hate that. I don't like that ability. Oh, nicely done. Well, fuck you then. thinking about that not long ago, how, uh... No, oh, I see, yes. I realized that at the very last second. Challenge. Stay alive. Challenge accepted. I don't even know what that was. I don't know. Nope, nope, not gonna let you fuck around with that. No. None of that, please. No, 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 no. Look, they're made of meat. No, they're not. They have robot eyes. Uh, nice shot, me. Those drones that got repurposed, I guess. Never even seen any of those guys before. Open sesame. Well, that was embarrassing. Can't even. Holy shit. Knock that off. Say once upon a time there was uh, there would always be two categories in like end of year lists for a good six or seven years I'd say people drew a hard line in the sand between uh, download only games and regular games. reasons for that. Let's highlight it again so that it changes color. You too. Let's 
What's that? Another store. How weird. Hmm. Oh, of your equipped secondary weapons. So this one would only affect the shotgun, or the mine gun, depending on which one I have equipped when I use it. Generates a shield in direction you select, blocking all incoming projectiles. In my experience with uh, the heavy drones that had these, this sucks. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That seems a little bit over elaborate, but alright. I think for the moment I'll save these for uh, getting that shield, though. Not shield, the uh. The fuck was it? Oh, the uh. The upgrade that will heal me. You have died. Oh. The fucking plants are... Well, I'm glad I saw that. Oh, it's invincible. No. You're not allowed to do that. Oh, hey, there's a key thing in here. That's neat. Yoink. A purple... Po uh, purple key card, huh? I was gonna say a purple skill point. Which would just be confusing at that point. Oh, I didn't press A and it still went away. Fine. One of five pieces, huh? Oh, it literally just doesn't show me things like that, huh? I'll just have to read it next time. Ooh, backstory. What about a uh, reverse engineer? From what I can gather, the artificial intelligence of those new Nakas are not in their heads. They're not stored locally? Do they work online? Yep. Their minds are stored on a server inside the Nakamura space station. The Nakas themselves are basically transceivers. Then, if you can manage to access the server, you could download the mine, right? Even if I were the CEO of Nakamura, I couldn't gain access from the outside. All of Nakamura's servers are on a closed system. So there's nothing we can do? There is one way. Instead of hacking things remotely, we could sneak a drone into Nakamura's facilities and hack everything from the inside. That won't be easy. Tell me about it. But, you're the best engineer I know. You create the drone, and I'll stow it away on upgoing cargo. Damn! Another one gone. That's the third drone wasted. Stupid input lag. You jinxed it with cheer up boogin, third time's a charm. I give up. We'll never slip past those kinds of defenses. That's our problem. We're trying to avoid their defenses when we should be fighting fire with fire. Face their defenses? Yes, Boogan. Face their defenses. To do that, we would have to send something better, harder, stronger, faster. That's the job description of an android. Wrong order, by the way. Nice. But I can't build an android from scratch. I don't even know where to start. And if we found one? If we found one somehow, I could mod in wireless controls, implement some... Wait, 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 wait. Are you seriously thinking about this? It's time to steal one. I'm not saying you're wrong. It was a good idea to convert a disconnected Naka shell into a combat robot, but its control system is extremely complex. We're not flying a simple drone this time, you know? 
I don't want it to sound pessimistic, but I don't I don't think we can do it. Hmm. Don't worry, Boogan. I know a guy. Yeah, well good. If we end up throwing out all the work I've done, I'm charging you for it. Jack, what can I do for you, old friend? I need someone to control an android. Agile, fast, and experienced with guns. My agents don't hurt or kill people. I know, Victor, but I'm sure they can neutralize robotic defenses. Hmm. I have an amazing ghost agent. Very skilled and capable of controlling any android. But she's expensive. I can pay. I have credits. Jack, look at yourself. You don't dress like someone with money. Being good at earning money doesn't mean being good at spending it. Sharp as usual. Okay, the agent will be yours, if you can pay. She works online, so don't expect to meet her in person. In that case, I'll encode our communication. Jack, you don't want me to watch? Oh, you'd find it boring, Victor. I'm sure you have better things to do. <laughs> it's a pleasure to do business with you. Neat. Well, we've uh, collected more samples, and we've gotten our hands on part of the purple key card. Yay! Plus, we've learned some interesting information about our allies. I guess we'll uh, pick it up there on the next episode of Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you then. Later!